Hi, this is Nkechi from The Vent. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this velvet loopy fascinator. Doesn't it have a lot of loops? And also feathers it does. Okay, so before we get into that, if you have not subscribed to this great channel, The Vent Craft, do pause this video for now and click that subscribe button and the bell so you get notified of all my wonderful lovely DIY trainings and some extra okay so I'm gonna start off with the materials needed to make this velvet loopy fascinator we'll start with our straight scissors okay then this arrow feathers then this quill feathers then this I think these are called spiky feathers if I got that right then Uhu gum B6000 then that's our bishop cap that's a ready-made cap I didn't mold it that's how it comes in market then measurement tape then the elastic band then this is the rose I made yes if you want to know how to make this rose you want to go into the vent craft reception and click there you get more details on how to make this this I think is our brush class 3 you need to get into there okay then this is a pair then the bronze hat wire not the silver the bronze they all have different thickness then bias I'm trying to make up my mind which color would I use the purple or the black okay we'll see later on in the training which I used then this cutter I so love this cutter then of course the velvet material or suede depending on what you call it then this is the strip yeah you get to know where we use that then our boning that's the boning boning now before we get into making the velvet loopy fascinator let's take a few video steps back today we get to know the winner of a free brush class in the vent craft academy yes i made use of seven flowers to make the triple layered fascinator and the first to get it right was onyechi yusuf congratulations please do contact me via whatsapp to pick up your prize thanks for also staying till the very end of that video if not you would not have seen the challenge yes i do leave hidden gifts at the end of some of my videos so you want to always stick to the very end of the video try that today too okay so let's get back to making our velvet loopy fascinator so the first thing you want to do is take your bishop cap it's a ready-made cap and your bronze hat wire and then you're going to be attaching the bronze hat wire to the rim of the bishop cap now what this does is that it makes the bishop cap firm at the rim so it can't um, bend and all that it takes the shape you want it to take which is that circular form without bending now why you use the bronze hat wire it's because it's more malleable and bends easily if you try using the other one <laughs> you don't want to break your hand so i'm not going to be doing this all the way to the end because i already have a video where i did it from beginning to the end so you want to check the description of this video and you would find the link to my previous video on how to attach the hat wire round the rim of the bishop cap Now the next step in making the velvet loopy fascinator is to get your elastic band. Now the elastic band has a place where it's glued so you cut it at that part. Now after you've cut it, I measure out 2 inches and cut that out. Now that's to ensure that the, the elastic band holds firmly on the head. So that's the way I'm going to sew it to the base. Now I do my sewing before I put the cloth on top as much as I can sometimes you can't do that but if you can do the sewing of whatever it is you're going to be using the attaching the fascinator to the head too it's best you do it before you put the material so that's what I did in making the velvet loopy fascinator keep watching and learning okay so let me let the cut out of the bag today's video if you stay to the very end you might be one of the seven winners yeah we have a challenge and seven people are going to win you 
have to wait to the end to see what you're gonna win. All right, let's get back to making over that loopy fascinator. So I'll be doing the same thing at the other side. Let's take a little break and answer one of your questions in the comment section on one of my videos. You said, can one use a bishop cap instead of a molded pad? And the answer is yes. Here is actually the pad I molded to use for this um, video, the velvet loopy fascinator, but it didn't get dry in time for the delivery, so I had to make use of the bishop cap. Okay, so the next step in making a velvet loopy fascinator is to measure the bishop cap and that gave me 8.5 inches so I added 1.5 that's 10 and now I'm going to cut out the velvet material I'm going to be cutting out 10 by 10 inches and that's what I'm going to use to cover up the bishop cap keep watching and learning Now it's time to cover up our bishop cap. Now what do we say? What is that word? How do we do it? Yes, north, south, east and west. Did you scream that out with me? Okay, let's get back to our velvet loopy fascinator DIY for training. Okay, so the next step in making our velvet loopy fascinator is to cover, to cut out the um, the edges, not the, yeah, the edges, the extra um, velvet that was sticking out from there. So I'm making use of razor so I can cut it out properly well. Keep watching and learning. Okay, so now I'm checking which of the bias would I use to cover the edge. Is it the purple or the black? So let me know in the comment section which one would you have used. I finally decided to use the black. Okay, but let me know which you would use if you were the one making this velvet loopy fascinator. Okay, so I'm going to use my black bias to cover the whole edge and this time around I made use of uhu gum instead of the candle gum that I use with the electric glue gun so you can see how to make use of uhu gum instead of the electric glue gun now you know if we were using the electric glue gun I wouldn't be using pegs but because uhu gum doesn't stick immediately you have to make use of pegs so keep watching and learn
So now we head over to why I call this velvet loopy fascinator and that's to make our loops and I'm going to be making use of the boning and what I did was I measured out 10 inches yeah 10 inches of the boning and I cut so I cut I think I cut about like six yes I cut six pieces like so I used one to measure out the other ones and began to cut six pieces keep watching and learning Now the next step is to cover this bone in. Now what I did was I took my material, in this case is the velvet, I measured one inch and I folded it into two like so. So I put my uhu gum on it and I started using it to wrap the bone in that I cut out round. So just keep watching and learning. That's the way you do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know my sharp audience will get it. Just keep watching and learning. If you are gaining value from this video, if you were learning something new, please do give me a thumbs up. Yes, click that thumbs up button below this video to let me know you gained value. Thank you very much. All right, let's get back to making our velvet loopy fascinator. Okay, so we have our six loops ready already wrapped and this is how you do it you bend it like so and take your needle and thread and you sew it together now how are you going to sew it you're going to make use of the material you know of course you can sew through the boning but you can sew through the material since it's already glued when you're sewing through the material it holds it all firmly together so i'm going to be doing this to the six pieces that i have wrapped six is it six? Yeah, six pieces that I have wrapped. Okay, so keep watching and learning. Okay, so the next step after you've done all the loops like that in making the velvet loopy fascinator is to get the feather sewn to the fascinator base. In this case, is our wrapped bishop cap. So I like to sew a lot. Remember, I told you if I can sew, I sew instead of gumming. So that's the way I sew my arrow feathers. I sew it through the feathers. So just keep watching and seeing how I attach all the feathers to the bishop cap in making the velvet loopy 
fascinator. Okay, so I'm going to bend the quill feather a bit there now. I'm taking the loops that make, that give the name of this fascinator, velvet loopy fascinator. I'm going to be putting them together. So I think the best would be to keep quiet so you watch and see how I did it. But just take note that what I'm doing is sewing the velvet that I attach to each other. I'm using the velvet to hold it up because you can sew through the boning. So I'm using the material and holding them up and placing them in the way I want them to appear. So keep watching and learn.
excuse me there yeah <laughs> I was testing it and it went out of the camera range all right I'll be back anyway yeah we're back Now the next step in making our velvet loopy fascinator is to attach the loops to the fascinator base. In this case it's our velvet covered bishop cap. So I'm going to be sewing that to the bishop cap as seen. So keep watching and then. Okay, so now it's time to attach our brooch that we made. And remember I told you in brooch class 3 you get to learn how to make such lovely roses to stand out your, to make your fascinators stand out. Okay, so if you want to get to know how to make something like that, all you need to do is go to the description of this video and join the reception and you get more information on how to make brooches to make your fascinators to stand out so keep watching and learning yeah I decided to add some other roses to fill up the spaces that were being shown okay so for staying till the very end of this video as we are almost rounding up yeah what do we have wait for it Now today's challenge is for the first seven people that get it right and the winners get to attend for free the class and event craft academy to learn how to make the brooch used here and three other designs. All you need to do is write in the comment section below this video a major change that occurred while I was shooting this video on how to make the velvet loopy fascinator. The tip to the answer is that the major change had to do with me. All right, thanks for staying till the very end. Till I meet you again on this channel of Craft, stay blessed and stay tuned.